Hello world, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a Photoshop tutorial that's all about creating bleeds and crops in images. Whether you are a professional designer or just starting out, this video will be super helpful. I will show two different methods, one of them manually and one of them with an action I prepared for you. First open Photoshop and drag and drop a random photo into the workspace. I just choose this photo. We will start by setting up our canvas. Go to the select on the top menu and choose all. Then head to edit and select stroke. Here set stroke width to one pixel. Choose a vibrant color like green and set the location to inside. Once done, hit OK. Then press Ctrl plus D to deselect the canvas. Now navigate to image, canvas size. I prefer using millimeters, so I will set my units to millimeter. Check relative to ensure we add the same amount on each side. We will add three millimeter for bleed on each side. So I set width to six millimeter and height to six millimeter as well. Hit OK to update and canvas updated. Create a new layer, select all and repeat the process again. Go to edit, then stroke. This time choose a different color like red. Keep the settings same with width of one pixel. Hit enter. Again, deselect with Ctrl plus D. Adjust the canvas size again. Back to image, canvas size. We will now increase both width and height by 10 millimeter. Confirm the change and hit enter. Now zoom into one side of our canvas, like uh, left top side. Make a new layer and uh, use the marquee tool to draw a rectangle or square, like this one. I draw 8.1 millimeter square shape. Again, go to edit, then stroke, choose center for position, choose black color this time, set the width to 2 pixels, hit OK. Without deselecting, use the arrow keys to adjust the square's position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and even 6, down. One more right could be better. Delete the excess parts. So hit delete key on the keyboard and deselect with Ctrl plus D again. So first border is drawn. Adjust the canvas size again. Go to image, canvas size. We will choose pixels. This time reducing both width and height by minus four pixels. Hit OK and new canvas size is smaller than the current canvas size, hit proceed, the canvas adjusted. Duplicate the last border layer, select all, and go to edit, transform, flip horizontal. Now another side border is completed. Merge the two borders layers and repeat the flipping process. Duplicate the last layer, select and then all, and go to edit, Transform, this time flip vertical. As you see, our borders are ready for all sides. We will save this file as a PDF in the same folder as the photo name. Save as type Photoshop PDF. Hit save. When we open this PDF file, the bleed and crop borders are ready for print in our file. This manual method is quite detailed, but I have prepared a Photoshop action for an easier process. You can download from the video description. So download this cropmarks.atn action. After downloading, load the action in Photoshop. Go to Window, then Actions to open the Actions tab. In the Actions tab, click this four horizontal lines icon. Find Load Actions. Select the cropmarks.atn file and hit load. As you see, our action loaded over this 
crop marks action hit this blue play action button in just a few seconds the bleed and crop borders are ready as you can see using actions saves a lot of time which is crucial for print work in photoshop let's save this as a new file and compare it with our manually created version so save as a photoshop pdf with file name like dash two so by this way we can check one by one both pdf files on the left it was manually created and on the right it was created by action that's it for today's tutorial we have covered both manual and automated ways to create bleeds and crops in photoshop remember using actions can significantly speed up our workflow and of course you may use crop mark actions for your bleed and crop borders in your prints thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tips and tricks see you in the next video